Hi there, welcome to Be A Surface Pro. Today's Surface Pro tip is how to go completely paperless. Now, a little caveat here, it's never really possible to go completely paperless, but you can probably do a lot better than most people are doing now. Back in 1975, in a Business Week article, George E. Paik from Xerox said that in future, he couldn't imagine having any paper in his office. And yet, if you look around your office today, what do you see? You see lots of people dealing with lots of paper. Now granted, 43 years down the track, we have a lot less paper to deal with than we would have back in the 70s. We have email, nobody receives mail by letter anymore, and we have less printing, a lot more things like PDF that enable us to exchange documents without having to send them in the post or print them out. But there's a big problem with the paperless movement kind of stalled about 20 years ago, and that's because they never factored in this thing here. It's a pen. Pens are the last tool that will stop you from going paperless. Why? Because computers generally don't have them. But now with devices like the Surface Pro and all of the Surface computers, you have a pen that can work with your device. And that can finally allow you to go paperless. So the first step on your journey to going completely paperless is learning how to use your Surface Pen in applications like Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. In Word, you could use your Surface Pen to sign a document or to give feedback and avoid printing. You can find a link to our video on that topic below in the description. The next step to going paperless will be to learn to use the pen on PDFs. Whether you use Adobe Reader, Drawboard PDF, Zodo PDF, or even the Microsoft Edge browser, we have a video that shows you how you can use the pen in PDF applications. Once you've mastered those basics, you can learn even more about the Surface Pen by looking at our Be A Surface Pro playlist all about the pen. One of the biggest sources of paper in a modern office is your paper diary or your notebook. And you can replace those things with your Surface Pro and OneNote. You can learn how to do that in our video, Replace Your Paper Diary. Now, if you can sign and mark up documents and you've replaced your paper diary with a digital tool, there's probably only a few bits of paper left in your life. And those tend to be the pieces of paper that people give to you. Now you can get rid of those pieces of paper by using a tool called Office Lens. And we've got another video on that, how to use Office Lens on your Surface Pro, but you'd also want to get Office Lens on your iOS or Android phones as well. Going paperless has huge organizational benefits. Not only is all of that paper gone for my life, I can search it all and I can carry years and years of paperwork with me without carrying the associated weight burden. And it's not only an organizational benefit that you'll have, it's also much more environmentally friendly as well. So I hope that's helped you to start your journey to becoming more paperless in your life. Remember to give us the thumbs up if you found this video helpful and subscribe to our channel for more Surface Pro tips.